Hey guys, what's going on? So today I want to take a look at input monitoring. So in some of my other tutorials where we're going over recording, you may have seen me turn input monitoring on in order to be able to hear what I was recording for Logic. And that's a good way to hear whatever you're recording through some effects as well. Um, but you may have also noticed that input monitoring seems to be a little weird. So if you move off the track that you're input monitoring, you don't hear it anymore. And if you're playing back audio while you have the track record enabled, so if you want to play back the project so you can play along with it to practice your part first, you may not hear your input monitor signal anymore either. So there's a setting of change to make that behave better so that you can always hear the input monitor signal no matter whether or not you still have that track selected or even if you're playing back audio and want to be able to play along. So I got two tracks in this project right now just for demonstration purposes. There is a classic electric piano and an audio track. So on this audio track, I'm gonna enable input monitoring and then you're gonna hear me through the microphone that I have routed in Logic. And now you should be able to hear me through Logic. And I just tapped on the microphone in Logic, so you heard that. So if I now go to the classic electric piano track, you won't hear me. In fact, you now hear me through my narration mic again and not through Logic. Um, so how do we fix this so that you can always hear yourself? Let's see here. I'm going to go back. Now you can hear me again through Logic and I just tap that microphone again. So how do you fix this? First, we need to go into preferences with command comma, and I'm gonna jump to the top of this window, interact with the toolbar, go to audio, select that, and now I need to select the general tab once I stop interacting with the toolbar. So I'm gonna navigate through the tabs in the audio section and select general. There we go. We got general selected. Now we just got to navigate through the window to find the setting that we're looking for. And you're looking for the section called software monitoring. So this is a software monitoring section and you see that it's checked. The so software monitoring is enabled now. So you see that setting right there it says this is using the same setting that GarageBand uses where the input monitor track has to be in focus for you to hear the input monitor signal. So if we uncheck this, now we can have our input monitor signal without the track having to be in focus. And now we can also hear the input monitor signal when we're playing back our project and have the track record enabled. So I'm going to close out of this. And you see, we still got that mic on. Navigate to the classic electric piano and we can still hear ourselves. And if something was playing back on this track, we'd still be able to hear the signal that we're input monitoring. So hope you found that helpful, hope that was useful, and until next time, happy recording.